I'm not talking about politics. I'm talking to the Creator who has sent me. Because these are all symbols not made in the United Nations. These are symbols that long been in the time of Moses, in the time of Abraham, our father, Isaac, and Jacob. Can I pray? Because this is more of the Spirit. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu Melika Olam Ashir Kedisunu Bimits Bota Bitsubeinu Lehiot Or Lagoyim Vinatan Lanuet Yeshua Mishikainu Blessed are you, our Father, King of the Universe, who has allowed us and commanded us to hear the sound of the shofar. was the unveiling of the replica of the Ark of the Covenant. May I declare to the land of Kenya, this so far, that I will be turning over to the hand of the Jubilee leader of the whole of the world. Has the effort. You know, Aaron, the high priest, when he entered in the, in the Holy of Holies, he used the effort, representing the 12 tribes of Israel. And when God sees the effort, he sees the whole of Israel. And it, it's not in a dress. Now it's in a horn. Is this accidental, coincidental, or this is divine? So that Kenya will blow the horn and all the 12 tribes will come back. Not by might nor by power, the menorah, but by the Spirit of God. Back to the city of Jerusalem. Sir, can I? His Excellency, the President, receives the horn of the ram. The jovel that marks the jubilee. I now invite Bishop and Director of the Shrine and the Vicar General to take their place in that tent. And we just want to deliver the very sacred, ever looking forward of all the inhabitants of the world. They're looking for the Ark of the Covenant that is gone. But in Kenya, you have the largest replica for coming from the land. If a washing machine is delivered, they will tell you the weight and how will you use it. Today, sir, may I tell you that there are instructions that Abayawi told me to tell you. Because in the whole world, he is now trumpeting your name, Uhuru Kenya. The first president in the whole world to receive with joy and gladness because it was a divine appointment. You did not plan for it. He planned it for you a long time before you were born. So that today, this is the Ark of the Covenant that is, the composition is, the length is 203 inches and the height is 118 inches. The width is 63 inches and the weight is 360 kilos. This is made out of wood, out of iron and fiberglass, coming all the way from the islands of the seas in the Philippines, reported in Jerusalem. And it says here the significance. To raise up Yahweh's banner, the largest replica of the Ark of the Covenant, to celebrate the Jubilee year of Abba Yahweh. My friends, this is 
a pointer. We don't need to bow on this. This is a pointer. This is only a replica to look upon. But the glory of Abba Yahweh will just, the Shekinah glory will overrule Kenya. And he said here to declare and decree Abba Yahweh's people to stay in the presence of God. Amidst all the calamities and all the trials and frustration of the land, Abba Yahweh in his first time in all of Africa, don't go, bring it to my land because they are God the Father people. You're not happy. 